What's up, good people? And welcome or welcome back to my channel where we bond over our favorite TV show, trending topics, and everything in between that we care about. So today, uh, as you got the notification from the various platforms, I am back once again with my special panel of guests in regards to um, the saga of the Darius Crook saga. So today we wanted to come back to you guys because there were new developments. Um, Mel, Mel, Mel Ford was on the Roland Martin Unfiltered show this evening where she was doing a part two follow up to the temporary order of protection case that you guys all know now that she was successful in winning on yesterday because Darius Crooks, Darius Travoy Williams, AKA Darius Crooks, did not meet his burden of proof to prove that he needed an order of protection against her. And so I'm gonna pull Mel up first so that she can just kind of give us a brief recap of what occurred on the Roland Martin show in her second appearance today. And while we're doing that, please remember to hit that like button if you have not already. Uh, also to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share this video uh, to show that you care. So with that, I'm gonna bring up Mel and I'm gonna let that music die down as well. Everybody. Hey, Mel. Hey, so, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you just fine. Can you give the people Great. a little update? So just a little recap. Roland yeah. was really quick. So um, yesterday, um, Roland's producer um, reached out and then Roland reached out later on in the evening, basically to say, hey, uh, congratulations. We never had any doubt. Uh, would you like to come and uh, follow up? And I said, sure, you know, Roland reaches out. I like to try and make myself available. And um, basically it was just a, a, another leg of this saga with uh, Mr. Crooks, um, Mr. Williams. And um, it was just basically an update saying, hey, he asked. Uh-oh, Mel, you there? I think we lost her. All right. Well, it looks like we lost. She's having some technical difficulties. Uh, well, not potentially. Oh, and I'm sorry. You, you dropped out, uh, Mel. I think you had a, a signal issue, so we didn't hear probably your last sentence or two. I was saying the good thing is um, after spending only about 15 minutes, a very brief time with um, Roland, um, it was said uh, an invitation to come back at a later time uh, with the supporters, with you all three. Um, to come in and talk about uh, what's happening on um, in these social media platforms. We have individuals such as uh, Darius Crooks who actually uses his fan base and weaponizes. I think over the past few days we've seen, and, and Vail, you, you'll talk about that more, where he drops what we call these dog whistles, right? Where he puts out my personal information, my husband's personal information, my name, where my husband works. Um, and just says, you know, oh, I don't care about your husband, but you do because his name stays in your mouth. You stay trying to defame him. Uh, you stay making up lies about him, but yet you don't care. Um, and then, you know, drops his information. And I think someone was really ignorant enough to uh, put where my husband work and then put the emoji showing like someone clicking on a computer. Um, it's just really interesting to me. So I'm looking forward to the conversation, but it never ceases to amaze me. I won't, you know, get into that now of how ignorant people can be because they really think that if you are going to come after me or my husband, <laughs> especially, uh, this is the thing I said before when something really ugly was um, put on um the in, on Twitter about my husband. This is what people like this don't understand. And maybe it's because they vibrate so low. If you are ignorant enough to come after my husband, uh, given who he is and who he works for, and especially at his job, I have no problems with letting you know, nor does UPS, since y'all have put it out there, where you will have the full weight of that company 
down on your ass. Try it if you want to. They don't play with stuff like that. You can't mess with their C-suite, their employees. You you just right. can't. So if you think that you're going to play games, call up there, the first thing they're going to ask you is who are you? And then they're going to be all up your behind trying to figure out what your motives are. So they can play games if they want to. I, you know, let them. And I think that's a great point. And I want to stay right here on you talking about um, what we call doxing. And I think we probably have to get in the habit of explaining what doxing is because it's a newer term that I think people who aren't in this space, it's, it might be new for some of them. But what I'm going to do is pull up our other two guests so that because they have all ex both rather experienced this situation, actually all four of us <laughs> have experienced this doxing situation with Darius Crooks and his crew. So first, I'm going to bring up uh, one bring you up together, VJ and CJ. And I would like for VJ to share what has occurred since our broadcast last night. Sure. Hello, everyone. Um, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, you're good. You're good. Okay. Um, so this morning or this afternoon, I don't even know what time it was. Um, while I was resting in my bed, recovering, um, trying to recover from COVID, uh, someone sent me a screenshot of that Darius had posted um, with my name saying hi, since I want to follow everything he does. And this is my name and a photo of me. Um, it was before my locks. And so it was a great photo. So I appreciate <laughs> it. It was. It was a great photo. It was. It was. It was my Twitter. I realized I hadn't updated my photo in a while. Um, but so he shared that and decided to say hi as a way to try to harass and intimidate um, me. But he then went on to share um, uh, the city that I live in and then went to share the street name that I live on. And I once I, I made an update po updated post in regards to my address and where I live at, and his dog was sold to people to try to to do something with that information. Um, and this message I will repeat again, since he's here or his you know his people are here, that if anyone so much as breathes in the direction of my home. I will respond to that um, by any means that they make necessary and any that I deem um, necessary. So they can take with that and do what they will with it. I'm not interested in that. I will take um, legal action as it relates to uh, Darius Williams for doing that and sharing the information because it's not, I know he likes to give um definitions of what he determines to be doxing and what makes it acceptable or trolling as you all may have had the opportunity to hear some from his own mouth and his how he defines words um, outside of Webster's definitions of words as well as the local authorities definitions of words but you're sharing it with malicious intent and uh, with minors living in my home there's also um a level of escalation with sharing that information that you put a minor in jeopardy of harm. And so you doing so, he made reference to like, maybe he'll see me when he comes to DC. Um, I take all of that as a threat and I will be taking the necessary actions to deal with him. But I know this is something that everybody as well stated on this panel has um, dealt with before with him. Um, he doesn't learn his lesson. He's just adding fuel to the fire. Uh, he has a history of doing this, and but it doesn't make it okay. Um, and I won't be deterred about speaking out about his mis, you know, his misdoings um, and his horrible behavior because he's threatening to put out information. Um, about me. It's absolutely absurd uh, to Mel's point, the fact that anybody would be willing to jeopardize their their lives, their freedom 
and such on behalf of him making threats. I have screenshotted those, the ones that I've seen on Facebook. I will continue to screenshot them if I see them anywhere else um, where they're making threats to do things on behind him. And again, this man is not going to help pay your legal fees. He's not going to pay your bonds. He won't even send you $10 to put on your commissary He'll turn books. you in. He'll turn you in. <laughs> we, so, we've seen him throw people under the bus many, many times. <laughs> that's true. Exactly. He not by his own people. So you know he's not going to do right by nobody else he don't know. Or somebody who has money he's looking for a diamond with diarrhea event. He does not care about these people. These people are too ego boost him and make him feel good about himself. That's that's the extent of it. That's it. He does not love those people like he claims that he does. He's just looking for validation and they give it to him. Mm -hmm. and, and what V was just saying about this this pattern of doxing, I actually, uh, someone sent me a video, uh, I think it was last weekend or weekend before, where there's an interview he did that actually shows him talking about, and this was about in 2015, 2016, where he was starting to really grow and become a full-time influencer and all of that. And he was bragging to the interviewer about how his followers, when someone would come after him or say something negative about him, they would attack them so much so that they would shut down their platforms or, or get off social media altogether. And so over time, you got him, that was 2016. And to be honest, he's been doing it himself since about 2009. There's evidence from my, even my Fresh Go video where there was a, a person saying that they got, their personal information got put out there when they were complaining about being scammed with Fresh Go. Years later, when all of this started to come out, they realized that it probably was Darius because the tactics were exactly the mm -hmm. same went and created a whole Facebook profile using this person's pictures and all. It was a, a female, I do remember this, because she said the things that the guy, the person did was something a male would do, and it was very salacious. And so she got so nervous because she didn't know who it was and what was happening that she she says to this day, it affects how she uses social media. So it's that's... Funny. Ahead, it's funny you say that, Bill, because... When he put my stuff out there, that was what my best friend texted me. Now, she's not on Facebook, but she was on Instagram. And somebody that she knows, that knows that we're best friends, um, follows Darius and saw it. And she sent it to her. And she was like, you know, she should um, be real careful and blah, blah, blah. She didn't know that I knew, you know, what kind of person Darius was. But my uh, best friend relayed the message. And she was like, you know, you should probably shut down your social media and go dark. And my response to her was fuck Darius. I'm not doing shit. I'm not taking down shit. He don't right. run nothing over here on Burwood. He runs absolutely nothing. I wish right. the hell I would shut down Instagram or Twitter or Facebook because that's what he wants you to do. He wants you absolutely. to get scared. He yes, That's his, his tactic to bully you into submission. No, sir. You can't bully me. And I, I absolutely refuse. And you saw how that went. And I think that's a good indicator as to, um, like we talked about that dog whistle. He knows who to try it with now. He, he really knows who to try it with and who he thinks is really going to affect. And if he thinks it's going to bother you, he's going to try it. And when he sees that it doesn't, then he moves on to something else, some other type of tactic. And, you know, yeah. to pick it back off of what CJ is saying, that makes so much sense. It, it's it's the dog whistle. If we're going to call it out and be really, really um, about it and go in about it, Darius is weak. Darius throws the rock and hides his hand. He sits on social media and drops hints for his little band of nitwits to do it. He, didn't do, uh, he does his stuff behind the scene. He sits back and says, Oh, well, they sent it to me. They sent it to me. We mm -hmm. know his he, him looking it, uh, um, looking it up, but then he'll go online and he'll say something, but he's actually wanting them to do it. Darius knows he has no money to bail himself out, and he knows as much as he might enjoy the time in there, he doesn't want to go to jail. So, you know, he <laughs> is, I mean, because, you know, if he goes to jail, then he'll have a, a captive audience. <laughs> <laughs> not really though not for him 
Yeah. Not, not that three inches of sadness. <laughs> Hey, it's somebody for everybody. Somebody near my head, just two inches of sadness. It might be impressed with three, Jesus. You don't ever know. Right. Right. It's but really yeah, I don't, else. I mean, the thing is, is that, of course, there's a, a level of, oh my God. <laughs> um, You're going to have to warn us when you do that, Bill, because I just ate, Lord, okay? I didn't, <laughs> right. I didn't have any on, on the screen. I will say that there is a, a certain level of um, it's a, a discomfort regardless. Like, I'm not shaken by it, but there's a certain level of discomfort for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm someone who goes to the mailbox while carrying bear mace um, anyway. And I do that just in case... Um, a wild dog got loose or something. You never know what could happen. Um, but while hyenas might come through, uh -uh. you know, like anything could happen. <laughs> and that's, that's, not some, that's not something that um, I should have to experience. Now, I will say this because I know that he, I, he likes to flip things and turn it around. Mm -hmm. um, Create and, his narrative. Let's use yeah. his word. He creates the narrative. He's told us many times. On his playground um, with the misfit toys. And <laughs> he would like to say that, oh, well, I had shared something that showed his phone number uh, yesterday or day before, something like that. But it literally was a tweet that he put out. We have it here. Okay. Thank you. So. <laughs> <laughs> you tweet out all of this information about yourself. Bragging. I you want to be contacted. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that I could do. He was, no, this was prior to court. This is someone who's saying that he's fearful and that he's being stalked. Mm -hmm. He shared an address, which I assume is some like sort of, um, ironically enough, a mailbox. mailbox, but you want to put UPS employees, attack them. That makes sense. Um, oh, is it a UPS mailbox? He, he does a UPS store, I think. I'm pretty oh, sure. really? Duly mm. noted. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and his phone number, when he was tweeting about something about some sneakers or something of that nature, um, and bragging about how he didn't need any more <laughs> sneakers, it even had like the, the expected delivery date. Well, if I was fearful of somebody harming me, I wouldn't want you to know when I would potentially be expecting to pick up from there. Um, mm -hmm. He already has his entire schedule out uh, for his disaster um, dining it. Um, and so there is like, you that's just foolish as far as I'm concerned. Um, but that's something that he shared. And that's, that's that. I have not shared um my street name on social media i that's not something that i've shared um granted anything is public records i mean we all know that there are certain things you can pull for public records but he's doing it and he does it repeatedly with malicious intent to cause harm to people to try to encourage his wayward individuals to follow you know a path that could get them in trouble and he's not going to be there to support them. He doesn't care about them or me or how it impacts my family or how it impacts them or their family. If something were to happen, um, he doesn't care about that. And that's well, just... I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Quick question. You're talking about Darius, right? Darius Williams. Correct. Maybe I blacked out for the, for a moment. You all help me the same Darius Williams that sat on the internet not a week ago, blowing snot and crying about Jerome's personal information getting out? Hello, hello. Surely not. Yeah, surely, 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 not. surely, surely not the same person who told us, and I wish I had the music, <laughs> oh, who was going to be forced to stand alone. Yes. Because his information of his swipe right 
Facebook. <laughs> Not Side like chick. <laughs> entangled. Six month. Lord. Current. Recipient Thick. of three inches of sadness <laughs> in this current time. Really? Really? He really had the nerve to sit online and cry. <laughs> Uh, it was a great, it was a great action. It was a great act. It was. But I, I, I th really think, and you know, and I say that to kind of like get this out a little bit, because y'all know I haven't been, been able to talk, but I had to throw that in there, you know, proceed. I, I think it is ironic how, but maybe again, if that's the switching of the personalities, I don't know, because I, for, for me, I don't know how he allows himself uh, to go on and to do and cry and 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 then the the band of dimwits come in with oh we're praying for you they're so sick how can they do that to you when this man has a history he has been doing this for years to people for years he turns on them when they when it doesn't suit him you know absolutely the, the bridget t-shirts that he made and mm -hmm. Um, don't be Bridget, and they all turned on him. It was like a scene from The Handmaid's Tale where they, you know, like beat on each other. It was just, you know, <laughs> it it is it's sad, you know, because at one point she was probably part of that same group, and whether she was active participant or she was a bystander in it, and then now they've made her the main character, and like that's unfortunate that's sad and i know they say oh why do you all spend so much time why do you care about what he does why do you all care you're saying that it doesn't matter you're going to support him um come hell or high water you're going to follow him to hell with gasoline draws on mm -hmm. then go right ahead don't even acknowledge us you don't have to acknowledge the hashtag you don't have to acknowledge any videos that are made about you he doesn't have to say any of those things. Why don't you all focus focus on supposedly the cooking that you all enjoy from him? I don't care what your palate is like. I don't care if you don't have the good sense or, you, or you're eating salmon that's been transported from state to state. I don't no, care. Okay. I don't care, y'all. Right. Not the traveling salmon. No, the the traveling salmon. salmon. Right. Right. The salmonella salmon that's mixed right. in with his his <laughs> underpants that let me stop. No, no, never mind. Proceed. But that, you see, but you see, that's what and because you missed it yesterday, um, V, that's what the judge said in his ruling when he was citing case law about how Darius actively seeks this out. And you are a willing participant in this. He didn't have to come on Twitter. And and listen to or YouTube and listen to Vail's, uh live from yesterday to even get your information. So you woke up in the morning that bothered to the to the point where you had to let me see who this lady Valicia is. Let me see what I can find out about her instead of using your time to spend with Jerome or work on your trash ass recipes and fix your fucking cookbooks. You do everything but what you are on social media to do, which is to influence and be a chef. You're doing everything under the sun but that, perfecting your craft. And just like Chef Lacefront came over there today on my on my uh, tweets mm -hmm. and my comments talking all that shit, just like you said, you don't have to be over here. Nobody invited you to this cookout. You are a willing participant in mess. And homegirl, you should be on your shit too, you need some practice with your plating and them recipes. It looked like some TGIF shit. You need to be focusing on yourself as well, ma'am. I don't understand why y'all so concerned about us. How are we the miserable ones, but you are actively seeking us out for confrontation? That's what's crazy to me. Right. We don't go over messing with them. We don't bother them. Don't call. I don't at any of them. I don't. I don't even at him. I added him today um, to put him on notice of ceasing and desisting, just talking about and putting out my personal information. And I meant that. Um, I'll give him a call and we can talk about that later if he like. Um, but
Oh, the, did we lose both V and um? Like I'm it. still here. Oh, oh, still here. oh. I was um, actually um, multitasking, so I don't know where V left off at. She basically was saying that we don't go over there and bother them. Um, and I think one of the things that makes this a little, um, because everybody has an explanation as to why they do what they do, right? Um, and only they truly understand it. Um, you know, where Darius likes to play victim and say, you know, I, I don't I don't start any of this, but, you know, I, I'm sure I'm going to finish it. Well, that's not true. You started with me. I don't know what you did with everybody else, but you definitely started with me. And I think what you have, uh, when, when you see when you deal with him, um, well, let me go back. Let me go back and let me stay there for a minute because, Val, I don't want to take you out of your <laughs> rhythm. Um, but let's go there. And I'm going to keep saying this because Darius likes to show people something shiny and make them look in the other direction. How Darius started with me, and I'm looking at the comments because I'm hoping that there are some supporters in here so that they can get educated or so that they can uh, respectfully ask their questions because unlike Darius, I, I, I don't mind when people challenge me or they don't think that something that I've said adds up because what I know that they do is typically um, believe everything that Darius says. I need people to consider the fact that there is a reason why uh, in his TPO, he specifically requested that I not be able to mention him on social media. Now, why would he do that? Because he knows that I'm speaking nothing but the truth about him. Um, one of the things that Darius does not do, and this is what's so funny, and we'll get to that. And I know, Vel, I don't want to like give away too much, but there's just so much that people don't know that body cam video that he plays over and over again. Why don't you all ask him, why doesn't he play the part of the body cam video that my attorney played in court when the police officer says, has anything like this ever happened before? To which Darius replied, no, first time, first time. Well, hold on. If this is the first time, then what happened to your claims that in 2016 you tracked her IP address and determined that she was sending you hate mail and death threats? So when that came out in court, it's like, well, wah, wah, wah. This sounds like this is giving a bunch of lies. Mm -hmm. It's That's why you all we sit here on this side victorious because he can run to social media all he wants. He can play snippets of videos and he can tell half truths and another one Vail is going to expose this evening because he has a tendency and he has a real need to get people to believe the craziness that he that he has because he has nothing else to offer. He has nothing else to offer. Yeah, and I think this is a good place for it because you're talking about the inconsistency and the half truths of his stories. I think mm -hmm. this is a great time to lead into the situation that he's talked about with the Airbnb um, of your uh, Houston home. If you could give mm -hmm. them, you'll do way better telling that story than I than than I will, especially with my brain. Sure, time. sure, sure, sure. No, that's okay. Um, and I'm ready. I'm so ready with our receipts as well. So just that just, finger's just, ready. Um, and it's so funny. So I want to make sure that you all are subscribed to Vale's channel. Please make sure you click the like button. This this makes a difference. Uh, I want to make sure that you come back and visit over and over again because there is a lot of information good quality, thorough information, vetted information that Vail puts online, not not half of something, not half baked something, um, not like recipe books that don't make sense. The things over here are complete and true and they can pan out. So 
with that, uh, um, you have all have seen uh, Darius put over and over again. He even did a funeral with this information where he said, um, you know, well, how did you all meet? And, you know, I've explained all of that. And Darius plays this interaction, well, not plays, but he shows you all this Facebook message between a gentleman named Langston and himself. Uh, one of the things that uh, I wish I had, and, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna bring this again because I don't have the screenshot right now to show the, the interaction between he and Langston, but we do have our receipts. But I'm sure most of you all remember that. And so he's told Darius, story like every quarter. So every three months he yeah, tells that. Story. Yeah, it's like once a quarter. Yeah, like he needs yeah. an infuse of uh, infusion of money. And shall I say, I think we all here owed some stars or something or a check. I know, yeah. Because the way we help him, uh, he would say that, oh, you know, my name goes up, but you know, okay, whatever. I, I, I want um, my money from that uh hundred plus thousand views that he didn't got off the supposed breakup that I caused that was fixed <laughs> within three hours. Right. The breakup that never broke up. The, the, right. the breakup that wasn't breaking. Right. Um and good for him. You know, I'm all for love. Like you you and your Absolutely. boo stay together. That's great. But to be well, online never telling, <laughs> Right. But to be online telling everybody how you were going to be standing alone. Here I the, am. The, the That's priceless. Who hate me. That is priceless to me. I guess I will be. I mean, where was the music? At what point? He's so good at cueing in the music, y'all. And at some point, you all in the in the in the chat room, you know, bear with us. You understand? It's been months that I have been unable to speak. So when we are together, it's just like having a conversation. But our conversations come with receipts. So just hang in, get comfortable, and we're gonna we're gonna keep going. So anyway. Um, Darius has continued to put this thing out over and over and over again. Wait a minute. Somebody in the chat room said, I put, I started singing Isaac Hayes, I stand accused. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Who's playing the violin? Yeah. Why you all are doing that? Yeah. I think if y'all want to pop in the comments, because comments and engagement is really good. If you all have a, a song that you think, uh, you know, that yeah. put it describe in the chat. that situation. Yeah, put it in the chat. Maybe we'll, Bell will cue it up next time. It'll be the theme music of, of whatever that next uh, segment will be. But Darius continues to put out this thing about him and Langston and Langston sent him this thing. Y'all slow down for a minute and use the good sense that God gave you. And I'm not looking at it right now, but I have read it and heard Darius say it enough to dissect it because I know what happened. So when he reads to you what Langston said, when he said, you know, hey, I have someone, Melanie Sford, who wants to connect with me, you, you may know her as Agatha Dorn. Well, if there had never been any type of interaction with Darius and I, why would he may know me. Why would he know me? That's one point I want to make. Darius likes to make it seem like, oh, you know, I reached out to him and he rebuffed it. Like I didn't want to use her house. It was it was not going to be something for me and blah, 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 and all this other kind of stuff. Well, I want to have Lavelle show you the emails from Darius begging to use the house. Hit it, Val. Okay, and can you tell who who else is involved in these emails? Because I have a photo to put up. So, they're, so they're if you all remember Nadia, Nadia was his assistant at the time. Nadia also is the same assistant who uh, she alleged that he did ten thousand dollars worth of damage in the Airbnb. So let me just say, they say God protects babies and fools. So I'm. Uh, I ain't no baby, so maybe I don't know. And I'm no fool, but I don't know. It didn't work out for me. So I think there was some protection there. So he had um, Nadia reach out to me. And Lavelle will show you those um, receipts. So if you look at starting. this. Here we go. We're starting mm -hmm. here. This and at Darius. this point, y'all, the, the email address, I don't use that one anymore. That's out there, but there you go. 
But look at what it says from Darius. And look at the date, March 25th, 2016. Hey, from Darius <laughs> Williams. Can you reach out to Mel? What? what? Wait a minute. Mel, that sounds very personal, doesn't it? That sounds very familiar. Can you reach out to Mel? Loyal. Not first first and last name as you would do with not, a person you not, don't know. Professional exactly. situation. Not, exactly. Not Melanie Ford, not Mrs. Ford. You said Mel and then went on to let Nadia know what? She is loyal, loyal dehyde. De what? Get with it. Y'all need to come on, click that like button, give Val what he deserves. Because baby, <laughs> baby, we are just getting started. Y'all probably this just wasn't planning nothing, we didn't have nothing. <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of cars close to the chest, unlike him who has to run online baby, every time something happens. You all have no This is what sanity looks like. Dear about the stuff that's about to drop on this man's YouTube channel. I have been waiting. You all have no idea. Okay, so I will proceed. So he re writes this to Nadia. Hey, can you reach out to Mel? Lil d -Hive? for what? For the Houston, that surely does not say for the Houston home, does it? Not the home that he goes on and on and on about how no, uh-uh, no, I, I told her never mind. I didn't I didn't want to use it. No, yeah, it was gonna be more of a of a hassle. No, uh-uh. Isn't that what he told y'all? Mm -hmm. I'll wait. I'm gonna sit right here just for a minute. I'm gonna draw it out because I'm looking at the comments. I'm enjoying myself. That's what I had heard. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what you heard? I thought you know what I was saying. Mm -hmm. No, to quote to quote wide back, what does he say? What what he say now? Huh? <laughs> 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 okay. All right. I thought that's what he said. Oh yes, baby. I know. D Drop Bell his money. Thank you, Delphia Williams and Tanisha Coopage. Yes, because this is honey. Yes, this is popcorn money. So I'm going to go ahead. I mean, I'm being a little silly because y'all, I really have not been able to talk about this stuff. I've oh, been they love it. This stuff. They love it. They and love it. Darius knew that this exists. So unlike today when he was talking about, oh, hey, you know, when you are an executive or executive's wife or some mess, he was talking about how you have to be refined and, and you have to do this. And I never had to do that because I chose to be an entrepreneur. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, you could never be okay. where my husband is. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, it is. What, so what do you mean, that, Mel? He was HR director. Oh, yeah. Oh, wasn't he? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. With what qualifications? Yeah. He, he was, yeah. With, with, with what degree? The one from Moody Bible College that he didn't go to? <laughs> Well, he's working on the MBA now, but he forgot. Go ahead. MBA, he okay. working on. He, he don't never go to class for and do not a assignment or no, take a test. That one. Somebody's talking about they didn't get their order from November, baby. We know, but we gonna keep going. <laughs> See, this is why we should have actually told sorry. you that before we, we ordered, though. <laughs> we know, we know, y'all. This is only one. The, the amount of receipts. So this is the thing. This is the thing. And I, I am having a lot of fun now because this is this is a safe group. But I will tell you this. If you're going to pick a fight, be clear on who you are going up against. Be clear. Huh? You, you, huh? You better <laughs> act real, real quick. What's the other saying? You can't out Capricorn or Capricorn. What's your well, time here's the thing about that. Okay, can we in? talk about that for a minute. Let's talk about that for a minute. You can't out Capricorn or Capricorn. Well, let me tell you about one thing. He says, I'm a Capricorn this, I'm a Capricorn that. You know, let's just go ahead and break that down then. I too am a Capricorn. Huh? An older one. <laughs> A wiser one and more one with more resources, and that I say money. So uh -huh. if you're gonna tussle with a Capricorn, don't tussle with one that's older, wiser, or richer. <laughs> Let's lock horns, bruh. Huh? Huh? You wanna lock horns, huh? 
right. So y'all getting the y'all getting the giggle in me tonight. Y'all getting the giggle, mm-hmm. but Bill took it down. I don't see it anymore. No, we're back. That, I'm ready for. I'm going right back up when you, when you. So let me go back to the first one. So yeah, so Darius sat there and told you all that this thing, um, he didn't he didn't want to use my house. It was he he rebuffed me. I was I told her I didn't want to be bothered. I just I didn't want to use her house. Well, y'all, what is that you're looking at? And I'll gladly put it up, you know, so y'all can you know read it and Vail will leave it there. Visit as many times as you like. We need to create your Dropbox, of baby. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to clip this into a whole separate little video for TikTok and Instagram and Twitter. See, this is one thing that is true. Um, I pride myself on um, being respectful. I pride myself on uh, carrying myself in the way that my parents raised me. I, I, I pride myself on being a certain kind of person, but that does not mean, and be clear, y'all get caught up in the cars and the clothes and the glasses and all especially with my husband. Don't let them glasses fool you. My husband, don't let his skin tone fool you. Y'all, I, he was light skin, he saw. Let me tell you something. That man that I love is a black man from Brooklyn. Play if you want to. <laughs> play if you want to. Hustle Central. Uh, hey, play if you want to. And this one down here, I'm just a little old country girl from Georgia. Don't let these cars and clothes fool you all. I'm smart enough to know to stay out of jail. That don't mean I'm a soft chick. So let me go on back to what I was saying. Um, Darius is going on and told y'all, oh, yeah, I didn't want to use her house and blah, 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 and all this other kind of stuff. But you do see what he is um, coming through and he's begging. So they'll go to the next one because it's oh, more to more. this. We got more, it, wow. Oh, oh yeah, oh, should there be more? Oh my goodness, ow, ow, ow. You're not, you're not circling back in your uh-huh. bedding, are you? Because huh? Mel was like, Mel was like, mm, okay, I'll get to it. Like, you, you asked me, I'm gonna help you out, but okay, she busy, she's flying here, she's doing that. I think I was in Europe at the time and doing my thing, you know, just living life, you know, not bothering nobody. And this is the thing that really frustrates me, y'all. And I, but listen, you, you, you touched my heart and you, you, you realize that and you spoke on that last night. What I need y'all to understand is I was just trying to be kind to the brother. That's all. I would listen. That's the one thing that really hates me, uh, that hurts me. And I want y'all to go back because I wanted to find the address of the typical Airbnbs that he Oh, did we lose the mail? Oh, no. She'll be back. But yeah, I'm sure she's talking about the um, Airbnb. (laughs) Oh, are you back, Mel? I am. I'm sorry. Mel's probably getting alerts, too, that are are coming out. I am. I am, oh, and I have it on okay. Do Not Disturb. I am, I am. He. And so it is so funny um, that, you know, he is so devoid of kindness or his, his mind can't wrap around, here's somebody who saw something in me. So she thought, she saw something in me. She tried to be kind to me. And unfortunately, like with Sonny and like with so many others, Sonny Anderson from from Food Network, who saw something in him, he messed it up and he only had himself to blame. So now you get mad because people don't want to deal with you no more. And now your only means of getting back at the people that you messed up with is to go on the attack and make it seem as though they wronged you or they did something wrong. But only so, could Darius take somebody's kindness and make it into something weird and, oh, and like it's something like, oh, why would she do that? That though that was the last straw for me. Like, why is somebody being kind to you and treating you like a decent human odd to you at any point in time? Like even looking back, if y'all are no longer cool, how do you turn your nose up and try to be spiteful about turn somebody off. gifting to you and mentor? trying to mentor you and trying to elevate you and make you better. And you turn it into a negative, like it's something wrong with that person. Only mm-hmm. could he do something that crazy and that twisted. 
It's so true. It is really, 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 really sad that that is what your life is like, that you can't recognize kindness. And so you need to turn it into, he did it with me. He did it with Sonny. First, it, the first thing is, oh, well, they liked me. Sir. Sir, please. We, I didn't want you, boo. I didn't want you. I wanted to be kind to you, um, but you didn't understand that. So anyway. And hell, he did it to me, uh, too. Don't forget about me. I was. I was yeah, no, we, we can't forget about you. Please share. It was my kindness that he turned into evil because he's the he's a predator. So I think in his mind, he can't understand a person genuinely caring for someone without an agenda because he cannot care for anyone without an agenda. And if you look at everyone in his circle, past and present, he had an agenda within that relationship. So in his mindset, he's thinking we all operate the same, too, when that's just not the case. And so that's how our friendship turned, because at some point of a switch flipped in his head. Well, really, it was the challenging him, asking him questions, which you guys see that causes you getting blocked online and all of that. Well, when you were his personal friend that caused you getting blocked out of his life. And, you know, back then he, you know, he wasn't trolling like, like he is now. Plus, you know, he don't really mess oh. with God like that either. So, um, but it's the same pattern. You challenge him, he cuts you off out of his life. Um, and that's why the people that you still see in his life, they don't challenge him. And that's the reason why they've stayed. Well, I think you're, you, I mean, you're onto something. I think, you know, there's so many lies that he tells. We'll, we'll never be able, I mean, we'd spend a lifetime trying to debunk them all. I mean, one of the things he likes to repeat over and over again is like, oh, I have older women in my life who will pull my coattail. Well, where they at? Because obviously their hands aren't working because they haven't been pulling on much. Because you, well, let me take that back. If they are pulling, he's not listening. Because I do remember one night um, he had Miss Tillery on the line. Mm -hmm. He's spoken, he spoken dearly of her. And she seemed like a really sweet elderly lady. And she was saying to him, you know, no, baby, let it go. Like, just mm -hmm. pray for him. Like, don't do that, baby. Really, really sweet. What you would expect an elder to say, right? And he was like, no, nah, Miss Tillery, I'm I'm, I'm Miss Tillery. I'm going to have to disappoint you on this. And it's going to be epic. And you're going to have to close your ears. It is, it is, he finds joy. He gets gleeful at the thought of trying to devise something and hurt someone and, and do all this drama. But I want to get back to the receipts because y'all deserve these receipts. And yeah, it's a good thing. So I'm going to wait for that to pop up again. There it is. Here it is. So after the, uh, after he reached Oh, uh -oh. another interruption. What happened? Yeah, that was mine was earlier. It was my alarm system alerting me that somebody was here, but it was because I have friends who care about me who dropped off something like just COVID packages. Oh, uh, okay. a, a machete? A <laughs> 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 couple of get. Right. Well, we had we actually had some um, questions in here. Or oh, this is one that I did not want to forget to put up here because CJ had mentioned it. Bear with me. Where? 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 where. Here we go. Uh, someone mentioned uh, not Chef Lacefront, and I'm like, everybody doesn't know who we're talking about here. So let me pull that up for you real quick. That would be yeah, that one. Lacefront, for oh, those who are not familiar. And as you see in the first picture, this was her live where, well, I guess, can somebody tell that backstory on how she even came into play? Do you guys remember? I believe she said she had got some random message uh, from Angela, the kitchenista, um, basically um, chastising her for associating with Darius. She went on to say that she wasn't really familiar with Darius. Um, I'm not sure if she had mentioned whether or not she followed him, but she made it or she alluded to the fact that she wasn't really familiar for, with him. She knew that they came from the same city. I believe that's what she said. Um, yeah, I think she's from Chicago. I think she's yeah, that. she's from Chicago, and it kind of went from there. 
Um, and then later on, she hopped on his live video. And ever since, they've been frick a frack, bestie one and two, thing number one, thing number two. And she was at his, where was he at where he was at that lady's restaurant where he forced her to stay open? Was that Memphis? I think it was Memphis. I could be wrong, but yeah. I think it was Memphis. When in Memphis, I think she came down there. Um, and that's where that other picture came from. So she decided yesterday that she was going to insert herself into uh, our Twitter conversations about what had happened in court yesterday. Um, and then she went on, I believe, earlier today to do a live video where she talked about some of the conversations that she had had with some people on Twitter. Um, she about as unhinged as Darius. I went back and looked and all of a sudden she at the grocery store on live. The same thing you would catch Darius doing. Ah, so it's just like kind of like snatching little bits of his, yeah, snatching little bits of his persona, trying to see if it'll bolster her. And I feel like that's the only reason why she came over there is to get something up under her name and get some clout to her. Um, mm -hmm. They politely dragged the fuck out of her, her and that lace front and them contacts and sent her on about her way. Yeah, and and he's actually done that. You know, his his whole business model, as far as being a successful social media influencer, is that you have to, he was telling um, Ramon and Quentin this like last week, that in order to be a successful um, influencer, you have to open up your entire world to your audience. And mm -hmm. you also have to get on live multiple times a day like him in order to be successful. And I was like, that's a lie from the pit of hell because from the fire pit of hell. <laughs> well on my own I'm not on live at all. I haven't been on live in over a year. And you do not have to open up your entire world. But his psycho, the average, per a, a normal human being would have a very hard time being on mm -hmm. social media and exposing mm -hmm. that much of their life. Mm -hmm. The truth is, he exposes what he, the narrative he's creating. These people mm -hmm. think they're seeing his real life, but they really aren't. They're yeah. saying bits and pieces. I don't know if Mel is fully back with us. It looks like she's dropping. And those bits and pieces are fabricated to give an illusion of something that's really not what's happening at all. Right. I've actually compared it to a social media reality show. It's just like that, watching mm -hmm. the Housewives of Atlanta or something. Part yeah. of it's real, but it's like a play on real life. And mm -hmm. that's, that's what he's giving them every day, a play on real life. But it's not... And that would be fine. And this is, can I just say that that would be fine if that is where they found friendships and if they, some people True. are sitting in their homes and don't have anyone who would drop off the ingredients to make a Starbucks medicine ball for you um, because you don't feel well. They don't have anybody like that, right? So they mm -hmm. are drawn to him, but he uses it to harm them. And that's what the problem is. Mm -hmm. it, it's the taking advantage of, it's the getting people social security numbers. Even if he sold them marked up skillets that he gave them his, um, somebody shared a clip or something online or made reference to it. I didn't see it myself. Um, that he gave them like his formula for how he marks up his pro products. And that would be fine if you want to, you know, capitalism is a thing, right? Plenty of people, mm -hmm. we play a markup on something. And if they're willing to buy a nine cent knife for $99 on a, a, a four time payment plan, then you know what? Go forth and do great things. Like you go right ahead and do that. The problem in that comes when he then gets a hold of your information and mm -hmm. takes that and then exploits that or is charging you multiple times when that's not something you've authorized. That is where the issue lies. The issue lies when he doesn't pay the proper sales tax on that product that he's supposed to. The issue comes where he doesn't have an actual business to be able to support these sales. So be clear, if you don't have a friend in your real life and Darius ranting to himself because he doesn't even like bring most of them in on lives. He brings in minor children with disabilities from across the the ocean to exploit and make fun of, but he doesn't do it with them. 
to actually engage with them and have a reciprocal relationship with them. And if that's what they want, if you like it, I love it. That is not the issue. So let's be clear about that. That is not any of our, none of us could care less about it. Very true. Yeah, I love that. Mel, are you back connected with us? I don't think so. Her whole avatar gone. I look like she's yeah, gone. Though. It dropped her down. But I think also. Um, oh, wait. I oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there she goes. I know I'm still learning. <laughs> Mel, are you there? I'm here. Oh, okay, go ahead. Sorry. You can go sure, start you know, back. I have to work on my here. connection. I don't know how it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. You remember the Auntie Mel days, Lily Baby? I didn't see the rest of that, but yeah. Um, and so that's interesting. Um, can you go back to that person, Lily Baby? Are you still here? Oh, let me see. The, okay. Let me see. The, I can't see the chat. There she is. Lil mm -hmm. Baby, 245. Are you still here? Vel, I can't see the comments. Uh, it's you don't see on the screen? I don't want to touch anything else. But if tell me when that person is um it's gonna be hard for me. I literally have hundreds of comments. Okay, to never mind. So I'm trying I'm also trying yeah, to you guys can do it though. Oh my yeah, you're saying in real time. I'm like minutes behind, probably. Okay, yeah, and so that's what was happening for me. So back to this little, this little cup of tea that I have for you all this evening. Um, this letter, this second letter that you have is um, Nadia circling back on Darius's behind, uh, behalf saying, hey, you know, can you update me when the property has been listed on Airbnb? I'd like to go ahead and start the booking process. Thanks. Um, and so what you had in, in between there, what I told Darius, I said, Darius, you know, you know, I live in a you know particular community and, you know, we have covenants and we have things that we have to be concerned about. So I started asking him a bunch of questions like, you know, how many people are coming and and so on and so forth. And he was like, you know, I can't remember the exact number, but I said there are concerns with parking. Like there was enough room to park on my property, but still I was concerned with parking and I wanted to know what was going on. And so in a nice way is you can see when Lavelle puts up the next email, and that was March 28, 2016. There you go. Um, she responded, or I responded, and I said, hi, Nadia. I said, I'm waiting on approval from my HOA. I said, the issue is the potential of the overflow parking that will impact the street. I've had to do, uh, I've had to do this previously, and it's usually a pretty quick turnaround, three to four days. At this point, there have been phone calls and there have been the emails. And so I said, however, I do not want to impede your planning. So should you feel a need to exclude my home from your list of potentials? I understand. And because I was a true supporter, I said, I hope to catch you in 2017. But according to Darius, he was like, no, nah, I want to use the house. Isn't that what he said? Um, on multiple occasions. Who we'll is that? Who, who, sure. who is that CC'd in the email? It looks like Darius at Darius Crooks. I mean Darius Cooks Williams. <laughs> DariusCooks.com. Uh, okay, <laughs> and who am I replying to? Nadia at where? At uh, DariusCooksCooks.com. And if you have a moment, if you can go back to the original email. Now this is coming from Nadia. And who sent this email from who? Huh? She said, I'm Darius Williams at Darius Darius at DariusCrooks.com. To um, Nadia at Darius Crooks. So mm -hmm. Darius instructed his assistant, but he was copied. And this is the same Darius Crooks that sat online on more occasions, even as late as today or yesterday, and read to y'all the emails between, excuse me, not emails, but the messaging between he and Langston. And he was like, oh no, uh-uh. He's played funeral music because apparently he never had any interest in my home. There was never any conversation. So, oh Lord, this, <laughs> this is only one, um, one incident that I will be able to show you, Vail will be able to share with you. Um, I've had fun tonight, but I will I will continue to say uh, Darius is a really, really, really disturbed individual. 
a disturbed individual. There's uh, something that's just not right. And so for him to um, just lie, just the way that he does, um, we are not surprised anymore. This is who he is. Um, but what is sad is that he does this with um, individuals and they believe it because he never tells the full story. He only will tell you a portion of the story, um, just like he only showed you a portion of uh, this exchange. Uh, while he had me muted uh, and he was hoping, uh, he went out and told the lie and he was hoping that it was, somebody said, not the polite drag. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was hoping that I would have to be quiet and he, all of this has not come out. And let me just tell y'all, y'all, this is, this is the unsweetened tea. This is not even the juicy tea. Let me tell you something. You can't, look, I'm going to use his stuff. You can't play with old Capricorn. I'm going to look Capricorn as long in the tooth. You going to play with her? Okay. You want to play? Let's tussle. I'm ready. Huh? <laughs> huh? Okay. Let's go. Well, I, th um, I, I think that's a, a, a great uh, point. Also, um, so the original plan for this, for those in the audience, was that uh, for those of you who don't know, the first hearing has now been released as a full video on Fox 5 Atlanta's website. And we were originally going to do kind of like a recap um, and kind of live viewing of it. But instead, I have put it in our comment section. You can click on that link. It's also on my YouTube community page. And if you're on Twitter, we'll make sure. Well, it's already on Twitter too, right? On, yeah, I think on, it. It is. yeah, on all of our, on all of our uh, uh, accounts or platforms. And so feel free. It's literally the entire hearing that as we saw it. Um, so it's, it's very nice viewing. It's an hour, about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes of a video. But what we may do is at some point in the future, come back and I'll just kind of clip it together for like the highlights. But if you want to watch it on your own, click on that link, grab some popcorn, tea, champagne, make a Long Island, mojito, margarita, whatever you want to make, because it's, it's going to be that good. And um, but with that, I'm going I'm to let the ladies chime in with whatever they may have to say. And then I'm going to go through some of the questions I saw here and then we'll just kind of wrap it up. Well, one of the things I want to say, if, if they go and they look at that video, please take uh, write down your questions. Vail is going to explain to you all what evergreen is. That's an inside joke. <laughs> just remember that phrase, y'all. Evergreen. And, we're not about the tree. <laughs> and not the tree. Evergreen. Right. Okay. That's all I had to say. Um, the one thing that I was going to say before um, I got kicked out is that if you listen to that um, the clip, and we covered some of this yesterday, but make note of when he says out of his own mouth that his food posts do not get engagement. Um, I hope that the audio picked that up clearly for you all uh, because he said it in court. And that's how you know that he does not want, um, he has no desire for really any of this to stop because he doesn't think there will be any real life consequences as a result of it. But I just want you all to take a, make sure you listen to that and just kind of hear where we, we've kind of recapped some of the stuff that was already said, but we don't have any reason to lie. Like it was what we said verbatim. Um, it is what we already told you all. Um, but now you get to hear it from him. I hope some of his D Hive gets to listen to it because there's a reason why he didn't want them in court because he wanted to be able to spin the narrative. He wanted to paint the picture that we were liars um, and that anybody who said anything in support of mail um, had a skewed vision and that we weren't able to just attest the facts. Including the so, judge, obviously, from what I heard he was saying. The, <laughs> and everybody, the, yeah, everybody's involved in um, 
wanting to tear him down. And this is the one, the one last thing I want to say that something was pointed out um, on Twitter of why is we as Black women, um, and, and Vail, that's not to exclude you, but just the majority of um, the folks being Black women, why are we the ones calling um, to light Darius's wrongdoings? And the reality is we don't have anybody but us. And we are the same ones who Ooh, say that part that he is tending to take advantage of. And so, of course, it is us. And quite frankly, Black women are often sounding the alarm about issues across the board, not just those that affect Black people. We jump up and down screaming, and oftentimes no one listens to us until it's too late. Mm -hmm. um, once we're proven right, and then it was like, oh, who would have known? Oh, we would have known, and we tried to tell you. So that's why it's Black women doing it. Uh, because we care about us and and society at large. And this is just what we have historically have always done, even when it's to our detriment. And we have people who look like us and men who should want to protect us trying to harm us. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm just going to piggyback off of what Valisha said and what Mel said. Um, take the time to go back and watch the Fox 5 um, uh, court hearing. Um, I did my best that time and yesterday to tweet as much as I could. It's kind of hard to, to sift through what's important and what I thought would be poignant points to make um, through that process. So go back and watch it, but also share it because as you see, the, the D-wives like to come over and troll and give them something to look at. So they can have it for themselves to see that nobody is lying on him. These are only facts that we're telling them. We're not making this stuff up. And I know it, it kind of gets misconstrued because a lot of times, because people are so fed up, they like to pick at Darius. And he makes it very easy to pick at him, whether it's about how he looks and his hygiene or whatever the case may be. So a lot of things get thrown into the hashtag. We understand that. But this is really important for them to take the time to look at this for themselves. It's unbiased. It's words from his mouth under oath as he testifies in front of a judge. And I think if you if they just take a minute to look at it, they might be able to take something from it and get maybe a little different perspective. Bill, you made that face. I, I get it. It may, we might be, <laughs> it might be a reach. It might be a whole ass reach. Oh, no, I was laughing at this. I'm sorry. I was laughing at what I clicked on because it caught me off guard. <laughs> oh, hard. okay. Uh, yeah. If y'all, if y'all just share it, um, so that they can get a look at it, um, I think that might awaken some of them. And if not, let them continue to be sleeping zombies. It's, it is what it is at this point. But I yeah, think you're right. I think you're right, CJ. I think that, the you know, and I think a lot of times, you know, people get, I'll speak for myself, I've gotten frustrated, especially when this it happened a long time ago. You're like, why can't they just see, oh my God, this is just so crazy. Um, deep down inside, we really just care. None of us want to see anybody get taken, you know, get taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And so when we have the inside scoop of what he's doing and we know, but I'm going to give him his props. He's just so darn good at being so bad. Um, and then you have, I think you're dealing with a certain group of individuals who are just really hard up, I guess, for some macaroni and cheese. And they're just like, you know, or recipe or to fill a part of that community. But I will say if your community thrives on you tearing down other people or you supporting someone being disrespectful or you or it turning the other way when you know someone is lying or even when you can't even say as and, and these are grown ass women excuse the expression but you got grown ass women saying um excuse me I I don't I don't I don't want to bother you don't get mad at me but I, I've written you eight times um, <laughs> about um, about my refund, and don't block me now, please don't block me. She sounds like she's talking to some man saying, "Don't hit me." Like what don't kind no of more. don't don't hit me now? I just I just want to I just want to ask you about my <laughs> refund, 
And to which he replied, well, I've written seven times, and please, it's seven times, so don't, please don't block me. And then he's going to sit his ass up there and say, well, write an eighth time. Mm -hmm. It is, people do better. But, you know, one thing that Randy Travis said to me, it was a reminder. He said, you can't want better for people than they want for themselves. Mm -hmm. And... Darius has a group of individuals who some have said, oh, yeah, I, I, I yeah, Darius, I don't care what you've done. I'm riding yep. with you, D. I'm riding with you. Um, he's wrong by giving uh, Queen Mel's husband's information out. Yeah, he was wrong, but he's wrong on so many levels. Um, but that's just Darius, you know, that is just who he is. And to CJ's point, she's absolutely right. Um the more people that see the Fox Five, and 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 I am so glad um, that uh, they released the raw footage where you all are going to get every mm -hmm. single nuance, and you get to see him for himself, and it is going to be amazing. Um, and then when you have platforms like this, where you can get the nuances, like we know, like what some of the things, like we know what, what, what did he say when he said evergreen, we can now explain to you what that meant and what that context was and so on and so forth. And I think it also says a lot in Vels, if you didn't get a chance to watch last night, please go back and watch that. That's important. And again, don't forget to get the, the clicks and the views and because it's important and the likes, but, um, and last night, you know, we had my attorney there what attorney is going to risk themselves to come in and, and partake in some BS? You know, right. he came in and, right. you know, we want to keep it straight laced, but he came in to, to take the facts and there's so much stuff. And I'm going to say this last little part too, that Darius does. And that was one thing that CJ said that reminds me um, this narrative that he needs to put out there while he always is saying, you know, Oh, they hate me. They hate me. That's Darius's mind talking to him from some unresolved trauma that we have nothing to do with. And Darius says that because it's like high school. It's like, okay, well, I know these people care for me. And so if I say in talking to his supporters, and so if I tell them that these people over here hate me, then there's a likelihood because some of them are really simple minded say, well, I'm going to hate them too. Y'all hate Darius. I'm going to hate you. And they're not standing alone and very few of them asking the question, well, why do they hate you? They just, Darius said, y'all hate him. So we hate you. And it's creating all this animosity and division. CJ told you, Vail has told you, I've told you, Valicious told you, we don't care what y'all do. It's, it's not about that. It, it is wrong for you all to think that we want to prevent Darius from having something. The only thing we're trying to prevent Darius from doing is from hurting us and hurting others. Everyone sitting here on this platform tonight is responding to bad behavior by Darius. Not we didn't all we are four strangers before we became friends with one another. I did not know Vel, CJ, or VJ. We live in different parts of the world. You think all of us woke up one morning and said, hmm. Let's get on the line. Let's see who we can find. Let's see. Oh, here's a guy. Let's find him and hate on him and turn his life upside down. Y'all, that's because not what happened. Because we're a billionaire. Because we hate because, millionaires. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't make me do it, please. Huh? 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 I'll just say this. If if, if y'all hate millionaires, and one of us need to get off the line. Huh? <laughs> 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 I'm just going to go there then. <laughs> it, it's ridiculous it is like y'all no, think about that let's think about that for a minute I, think about that for a minute how many times have y'all heard that so and so's daughter just graduated from law school you may not be a lawyer you'll be like okay go ahead girl Ow. like we are a people that are usually happy for one another and that's what I saw in him I, every last person sitting on this platform was a support Supporter of his, he me really one before anybody even knew. Well, maybe, maybe not, <laughs> but I was for sure. So much so, I worked for free. I tell you, I see you. 
Yeah. Um, that was a, a thing. <laughs> Somebody said, Delphia said, I hate his earlobes. I can't lie. You know what? <laughs> and we understand. Totally understand. But yeah, you, Will, Will, shout out to Will, but Natalie. Um, oh, Natalie. Mm. Okay. I'm going to be with her soon. Very yeah. try to, you know, ask him would he like to speak to her. Natalie has covered multiple things on her channel. Um, and it to having a legal eye on things. And he went on the attack against her and she's jealous mm -hmm. of him and hates him. Like, what do we have to be jealous of? I have no desire. That part. No desire to live out of a suitcase as a bow weevil traipsing around the country serving not, not even like um like swap meat food. Like I, I just have no desire to do that. That is not what I strive for. I'm not jealous of him in any capacity. I know he thinks that we don't do anything else other than bother him, but just like he manages to find the time to do other things there's 24 hours in a day we can multitask we do other things we all have lives i have an eye address for you to actually threaten to give out because i own homes <laughs> at properties right it's that part you know what i'm like so there's nothing to be jealous of whatsoever i don't well, Alicia, i do want to interrupt yeah. just for a quick second i do think that you know I, I do think that maybe, I mean, I need you to be honest because I do think there's a little part of you that screams jealous of traveling the country with salmon in a suitcase. The I mean, suitcase. Just, I've always wanted to do that. I, just, I aspire. I know, right. But then you wake up. Take some damn so fish go ahead and admit that part. Oh, my period. So I can be like Darius. That's, wow. He got to be living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> you said living the dream. That's right. That's <laughs> living the dream. We're traveling with a dented pot and salmon in your suitcase. You know what, though? There is this misconception, though, as Black women, that when we are, quote, unquote, attacking him, that we have to be miserable or we don't have anything else to do with our time as if we can't multitask. I go to work. Come on. I, I, I go to work. I bake. I cook. For my husband, I clean Come my house, I take Come care on. of a stray cat. I Come do on. a lot of things throughout the course of my day, and you I can make time it. for what I want to make time for. There's always time to expose a camera. I'm not exactly sure why you think my life is so miserable. I have nothing else to do where this is just a part of my day. This is an iota of my day, just a small portion of what I do throughout the course of my day, mm -hmm. and I will continue to do it until I no longer see fit to do so. Right. So please stop telling us that we need to be having sex with our husbands and right. we need to find something else to do. We are doing plenty. And maybe if you found something else to do, you would have a clue about who he is. Right. That part. And, and for those who say I'm obsessed, the little message that I get here or there sporadically, um, I make money from this. This is a job. I cover this scammer <laughs> like I expose the other scammers right. and the other series right. that I have. So Take note. Yeah. Well, that, and that, 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 you can channel, live with purpose and passion and make a living from it. And that's what I do. And your your channel has covered so many different things. It's not dedicated mm -hmm. to areas. You know, your channel, you do videos about a lot of different topics. It's Absolutely. Just that, mm -hmm. it's, it's just such a lazy and weak read or um <laughs> <laughs> approach to and it. uninformed, uninformed. Yes, um, Very and uninformed. It, just, it, it makes them look absolutely ridiculous. And I wish they'd stop saying it. Like, find something else to say other than yeah. that, because that just isn't it. It makes but, no sense. But then the other point to that, though, that tickles me, though. What if it were? What if if Bill did decided to make his entire feed about Darius? So what? That's what, right, exactly. That's what the food networking, like he, tr he tries to play, throw shade on that to make mm -hmm. you feel badly about that so you will get off of him. So That's his hope. It's not and working. It don't work. <laughs> not it's at not all. Working. It's not gotcha. working. It's not working. So his, you know, you know, just like saying the food network, like they're stupid for doing only food. People are going to do what works. And if Vail is providing a service, so here's the thing, though. If he was only talking about Darius, let's say that if he does, 
the channel is not going to last if Val is not bringing quality content. Darius thinks it is, oh, this is all about me. He can't do this. Like, most people like a good criminal. Most people, like I've said this before, I like Dateline. I like 2020. I like this, that, and the other. Uh, most people are going to speak their truth. And if it's interesting enough, they're going to uh, partake in it. But he's the, the one that's not too smart because who wants to be watched for the bad things that they've done to other people? Bill, can you go back to that comment I was reading that said that, um, no, one more bad. There, oh, okay. That they said they had to do some serious research on before she spoke up. Um, in fear I would be in the wrong, and that's fine, that's valid. Like, nobody, um, thinks that anybody should speak without speaking from a place of information of being informed. Yeah. That yes. was the same thing as me when I first heard, I was like, Who on earth is this person? You know, I and mm -hmm. I did my own research before I ever tweeted a thing, before I ever said anything. Um, and so nobody's asking them to take us at face value. There's, right. you know, con there's links with, you know, curated websites with links of information that you can read on your own time. You don't have to take anything that we say at face value. Please don't. Um, ask right. Do your own research and read a little bit further and dig a little bit further. Hell, you may stumble upon something that we haven't even disclosed or said anything about yet. But I think that's part of the challenge. I mean, we we invite that, right? We invite critical thinking. We invite, ask me the questions. I even, I even posted that tonight. I said, hey, you know, I don't mind skeptics, but long as you, when you come now, come respectfully and come with an open mind and I'll do the same with you. But what seemingly he has are individuals with this blind trust or for whatever reason, and they take everything he said as, as face value. And that's really, 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 really uh, dangerous. Mm -hmm. We have a couple questions. Um, well, one, I just wanted you guys to comment on where this came from for those who might not um, know what that means. Big whiz? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now he used that. Uh, in court, when they asked yeah. him, why did he tweet, I, I always, always win? I always win, yeah. And what was his response? He was okay. like, well, I play Bitwiz. It's about Bitwiz. He when we know. Play cards, play my cards. Right. It was another dig at me. It was another dig at what was going to happen in the court proceedings and that he always won. Um, yeah, that didn't work. That didn't age well. Not at not at all. And but, it made no sense that there was a point of reference. Like there was nothing no. before that was right. about cards or no post after that. No. Or no post <laughs> that talked about playing cards, much less bid with. Right. No, I, I have um that's just it. That's the weird thing. What I find extremely interesting about that is that what I have seen of his demographic, a lot of them should be bid with players, right? I it would be think Discussion with them about Midwest, and that would be something they talk about. Um, it would seem like that could be something they could do at the dinners if, if he wasn't hurrying them out the door to then go lay across the bed in the same clothing. I was about to say, ma'am, he doesn't want to spend time with those people. We know this, but yeah, he but he does it. Like, people people still in the house. I'm sorry, CJ, what'd you say? I said he won't spend time with them, but he'll spend time playing that voicemail 15 times. And memorizing it. Yeah. But that's what he was made reference to when he said bid with that. So that it was it was pretty comical when he said it because I don't I don't even think he believed it, but it was the first thing that came out. <laughs> um, so do we want to address this and give some clarification since this did end up getting out publicly? Oh, what was the alias name on the police report um, brought up? That was another thing that I thought was really interesting. That Darius, it was just really stupid. What attorney would not verify that a person is not using the wrong name? Go go back a little oh, bit, man. I am. They, some people watching will not know what that means at all. No sure. Um, 
what I was about to say is, you know, Will was doing his job and what got Will there was on the police report, Darius, we know Darius, is Darius Travoy Williams. We've also seen him spell his name many different ways. On the police report, Darius Travoy Williams at the time of March 17th, 2022, was already 40 years old. On the police report, the name was Darius Travoy Williams, individual who was 39 years old. We recognize that, wait a minute, that's not Darius's name. The, sh the short of the story is my attorney wanted him to verify what he had on the ID. When Darius tries to belittle my attorney and said, oh, well, he was stupid. You can't make this stuff up. Um, my, they asked my attorney for the information on my Texas ID. How could they be so stupid? It's not stupid at all. Darius fed the information to the police officers, that same body cam video that's out there when he's standing with the, um, the, uh, well, they, they redacted out so you can't hear it and you can't see his license, but when he is standing and talking to the police officer, she asks him if the information on his driver's license is his current information. Darius then proceeds to give a Texas ID, I mean, a Texas address. So that created some confusion. So when the information was listed on the uh, police report, you have a different name, you got a different address and stuff isn't adding up. And then Part of the problem uh, with Darius, when you are such a liar and a scammer and something weird pops up, you then go, uh oh, wait a minute. It is not uh, hard for people to believe that he may be doing something shady. I'm getting ready to touch a very, very tender topic because I'm not going to stay on it long, but it's gone. But case in point, what all of us saw with regard to his grandmother. Um, people were trying to say, oh, y'all said that she was like, first of all, we didn't say anything. Uh, I saw that post just like everyone else. Um, I was aware of that situation and chose not to touch that situation last year. Um, what I can say is um, it is a coincidence that that photo uh, ended up with a different birthday, just like Darius's information ended up uh, messed up. Just like I ended up across the um, street from him, from his, um, whatchamacallit, and just like we all ended up at the same uh, restaurant after um, uh, court. You know, mm -hmm. you know, coincidences happen, but according to Darius, they don't, except for when it's on his side. So mm -hmm. if he, if, if, if coincidences don't happen, then how did somebody else's name so close to yours, one year apart. And then when you go pull the photo of Darius Marquise, that gentleman's dark skin, 6'2", Darius is 6'4", all of this. I mean, it's one of those coincidences. So, I mean, what is it that you're going to say uh, about coincidences not happening when so many weird ones, you know, have happened all along. Was it, was it, was it a coincidence when you walk past my car and you start taking pictures or did you do that on purpose? You know, just so many stuff, so much stuff. But anyway, there's, there'll now, be other question, chapters. Here's a question that backs right up to your last statement. And I was uh, mm -hmm. about to put it in the question. How does he yeah. even know what kind of car Mel was driving back in March? Well, if he hasn't seen story. Mel in, go ahead. The story I'm sticking with is maybe I'm being stalked. Yeah, I, maybe I'm the stalker. <laughs> I mean, he and he's taking pictures with my car. He's this, that, and the other. Yeah, that's the part that's going to come up. Uh, you know, and I, I hope that's clear by now. Um, <laughs> I was not following Darius. Um, Randy only covering him for views. And around that Randy has gotten a Peabody Award, he's just covering Darius for click. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. And has covered did. many other uh, scammers who have ended up in prison. Right. And, <laughs> and, and that's what investigative people. reporters do. Yeah. So why is it that he, <laughs> listen, um, that's not something you want to be proud of. Um, Randy is an excellent journalist. Um, 
but I wouldn't want to be on the investigating side of Randy Travis. That's all and I'm you, saying. And so. he reads you while he's um, warning people about you. He throws in right. digs. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love he it. does. And, and that, that's funny. Susan, thank you um, for sharing the word and hope you feel better um, when watching. I know he does make a lot of uh, mention about how he wants nothing to do with the Food Network. And that's interesting because there's video. And though I don't know if you've covered that on your channel yet um, about his Food Network auditions. Oh, oh yes, please <laughs> hold that because no. y'all not ready for that tea. Oh, y'all ain't ready. <laughs> y'all ain't ready for that tea. Ooh, it's my coming together wow. so well, too. So uh, things have. Oh my God! Yes. Okay. That's diabetic so, tea. So I won't get into that, but um, I think the what he also doesn't speak about when he talks about or speaks negatively about um, people who actually respect and love their craft and they don't do it to be multimillionaires. Yes, everybody would, would love if their passion turned them into a multimillionaire, but there are a lot of people who are amazing chefs and amazing and they love and care about their craft and they're interested in sharing that with people and sometimes that doesn't result in a lot of money um other times it just their time hasn't come like Zarius you know let us not forget you were not that long ago yourself by your own admission didn't have many resources most of the people who you are asking for Facebook pennies from don't have a lot of resources mm -mm. but so for you to speak down or talk down on everybody who doesn't have um, a million dollars to show, and we're not going to get into you know, incoming and outcoming and what is an asset and what is is mm -hmm. not, um, but even still, just not having a million dollars to show in a bank account, you're speaking down on a lot of the people who are the reason why you have right. it. The and majority. So how that the serves. Majority. Yeah. Uh, anyone who want to tackle this question that's on the screen? What's the deal? What's the deal? <laughs> no, I'm not touching that one. That's that's the story within <laughs> itself. I was third. Is it steaming with my pot? And I know. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Billy, Billy Porter will have her day too. But it won't be tonight. What about this? Um, so does anyone remember or know if there was another side to the story a few years back? when he said the Essence Festival only wanted to offer him $5,000, so he declined, allegedly. I thought it was 900 I thought you said it was 900 that they was only trying to offer him. I think it was only 900 Yeah, I think it was 900 that they, he said they would offer him, and it didn't include, did it, it only included his flight. That's what he said. Right. But it wasn't, it definitely wasn't 5000 It was 900 he said. Yeah, and I haven't yeah, really anything mm -mm. about that. I just know a lot of other social media chefs have taken advantage of that and still are to this day, who are smarter, <laughs> obviously. Um, because yeah. it's about building networks. Um, that's exactly. one of the things. And now, granted, I'm not saying anything negative about Essence, um, but I'm sure there are brands that try to take advantage. People see that on social media all the time um, and think you should do stuff for exposure only and not be compensated. And that, again, that's neither here nor there. Legitimate business transactions where somebody performs a service and then there's a, a monetary reward or gain, could care less about what he does or does not do. I wouldn't personally associate my brand with him just because, case in point, they offered him something and rather than just saying, no, that's okay, he just continues to bring them up and drag them through the mud every chance that he gets. Like, just say you did, you know, no, that's not something. That's something that was offered to me in the past, and it's not something I chose to participate with. Why do we need to know, or why does the general public need to know the inner workings of the deal? It's not necessary. Um, the next question. Before the hashtag, I remember when my coworker was telling me about how Soul Crab would charge your card again after you leave. Have we heard anyone else heard these stories? We have. We've heard that you had to provide a driver's license or an ID in order to use your credit card um, in Soul Crab. We've heard something like that and people couldn't get refunds and 
And that, I mean, again, these, the allegations of Darius's wrongdoings go back so many years before there was, I mean, before there was a Twitter, really. I mean, when Twitter was just getting started. Um, well, you know, and we've, we've all heard these stories and, and, and we all were smart enough to say, allegedly, because it didn't happen to any of our credit cards. But I, what I will say is um, he's not very creative. And so what you will tend to find with Darius is um, these accusations tend to repeat themselves. So if you're talking about Soul Crab, which is what, 2019, 20 or whatever? 18, 19, yeah. Yeah, 18, 19, 20, whenever. And then go back to um, Fresh Go, what was that, 29, 20, 12, 11, whatever? 2011, 2012. When you have the same accusations, you have the same vendor with customers saying, hey, I went to pay for a product or I was charged for a product and I was charged again. So it seems like there's a pattern there. He's a one trick pony. You're only going to get one thing out of him. You mm-hmm. only know how to do it one way. It's going to be, it's going to be an essence. The outcome's going to be the same, but the, the trick is going to change. So it's going to be the person with groceries, then it was restaurants, and mm-hmm. then it was credit repair. It's always going to be something. Now it's silly. He'll move on to whatever's going to get him something fast, something quick, and then he's going to move on to the next. He's, it's always going to be the same. It's not going to ever change. If he can get a dollar off of it, he's going to do it. And when it, when it goes badly because he's had so many of these joint, these ventures, when it goes badly, it is always going to be somebody else's fault. Okay. He's always the victim. Anyone know about the, who said he had on a Best Buy shirt in court? I don't know who said that. That I saw that on Twitter. Actually, I tackled because I saw someone say that he looked like um, an infomercial person that said, but wait, like at one point they had a- There's story. more. <laughs> And that was a full on accurate description, um, yeah. in my opinion, because he was jumping back and forth to all those different cameras in the clip that I saw. And that's exactly what it looked like. And that that would have been a moment where if you had real life friends that if they needed to drive to your house and knock on the door to Hello. say that the, the phone's off, the iPad, the computer, enough is enough. You need to take a pause. Mm-hmm. Um, that would have been the time for them to intervene because it 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 he appeared unhinged. And you know what? As much as we've watched Darius, I think that was the the scariest thing I've ever seen from him. He was just like on this tangent as we've never seen him before. It was like watching him have a complete and utter meltdown to the point where I didn't know where it was going to go and how that could have possibly ended. And like you said, the that would have been a perfect time. And we all joke and laugh, but that would have been a perfect time for even Crystal or Jerome to be like, yo, knock it off. Turn right. this shit off and take a break. Like, you look real crazy and you sound right. real crazy. And nobody right. had the sense to, to just tap brother on the shoulder like, Doc, come on now. You get it together. And that's telling about the circle of people that he's around. Right. And, 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 and can we go a step further? Like we were saying earlier, what if somebody did? Uh, what, what, what if we, we don't, he doesn't listen to anybody? Right. So what That's if true. somebody true. said to him, if Jerome said, babe, don't do this, uh, because we are, we, I mean, we're thinking about, he, he seems to do exactly what he wants. Hell be damned. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Um. Um, who's at the warehouse? Yeah, <laughs> we were hoping to figure it out. Let us know, right? Right, you, we were uh, hoping to know. Now, Mel, do you want to speak to that? Because I, um, that just made me think hmm. the, the picture at the bakery because mm-hmm. he can speak to bring that up. Mm-hmm. I said, multiple people posted that. Why is Mel being blamed for that? Um, that was something actually that came in, in into court, so. Mm-hmm. If you, it was a photo that was sent to me. Like I have photos now. Y'all, you would be shocked at how much stuff is sent to me 
uh, people who are friendly to Darius. I have um, I have been holding a lot. I'm telling you, I got a lot of tea. But that was something that was sent to me. Um, they did not want to uh, post it themselves. Uh, it was a uh, someone who was straddling the fence um, and playing both sides. It was also a person who offered me uh, addresses of the dining with Darius's and so on and so forth. Long story short, somebody that offered sent that to me, and when I posted it, said, "You know, Auntie Mel, you take credit for it." So I posted it. When I posted it, it said, "Photo credit Agatha Adorned," because I put it on there because I was putting it on my page. And I knew that it would be circulated, uh, but it was given to me. So the attorney uh, and other people reposted it. But because it was on my page and because I just put photo credit on the top, like I put some other stuff. I, I don't remember what else was on there, but I know for sure that was on there. He tried to say, OK, well, then it, it belongs to you. And I'm like, OK, yeah, we can go with that. You can say it belongs to me, but. I didn't take the picture. That's two totally different things. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it's just, so you think about it. There are pictures now that, um, I don't know, that might be a bad example, though. I started to say with Getty in Images, but I guess Getty, maybe they take all of their pictures. I don't know. Well, no, they don't, as a matter of fact, because Getty just purchased, like, Jet Magazines and Ebony Magazines, like, their whole photo backlog for pennies on the dollars. That's painful, but all those old photos of, of, of Black America and so on and so forth now belongs to Getty. So when you want one of those pictures, it's going to have Getty slapped across it. Did, did someone from Getty Images take it? No. So. Yeah, and his attorney did admit that he didn't, he's not on social media, and so he really doesn't fully know how it works and all of that. And so but to sir, me, him saying, asking you those questions, I was like, yeah, you, you don't know how it works. No, you really don't. Like, something doesn't mean you're the originator of it. But um, we are approaching the two hour mark and it's late uh, here on the Ooh. East Coast. So I wanted to give the ladies um, one go around of your final words. Um, and whoever wants to go first is fine with me. B, CJ. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of anything to wrap Left. up. No, I just don't, I don't have to find anybody. Don't make threats on social media. Um, they have real life consequences. And whatever you do, don't dare dart my door. <laughs> and on that note, see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, I heard you uh, talk, but I, we didn't hear what you were saying. Oh, I said, no, I don't have anything else to add. I don't have anything else to add. I think we need to talk about it. Talk about everything. I don't have anything else to add. I don't have anything else to add. Okay. All right. We will see you in a minute. And Mel, Auntie Mel. Oh, um, just thank you, everybody. Thank you. Please continue to come here and uh, support. Vell has been consistent with it. He will continue to be consistent with it. Um, we appreciate you all support. We really, really do. We appreciate you spreading the word. Um, but we also appreciate there are times a lot of you just held us down. Um, don't worry about trying to fight with people. Try to be kind. Try to be respectful to one another. And, you know, um, just, just try to uh, get through this thing with um, with much respect as you possibly can and muster, but demands respect for yourselves as well. So are we going to get through this thing? Um, Darius is not going to continue to do the things that he does. And, and you all play a big part in that. One of the things that we all were talking about together is Darius is not going to be able to continue this if people don't support it. Um, we are not saying that we don't want Darius to succeed. We'd like to see a better version of Darius succeed. But if Darius is going to keep tearing people down and all that, that decision's up to him. So we are for uh, him going away if he's going to keep treating people this way. And some of you uh, who will listen to this replay, uh, who will sit there and go, oh, my God, some of you, not maybe not everybody, but there is at least one, at least one is saying, yeah, I know he's lying. Oh, yeah. I know he's full of stuff, and so on and so forth. 
And yet there's something that's missing in your lives where you're like, but I, but I like watching him, so on and so forth. Think long and hard about what you're supporting. Um, and, and if it is not uh, something that is positive, uh, and, and then I, you know, I hate to get deep, but then, but go in, and look within and see why you have such a need to stay connected to someone so toxic. Um, so I'll leave that there and, um, and we'll be back and y'all make sure y'all support, click the like button, bell likes when y'all subscribe. I know he does this for himself, but y'all really, really, really is important. He's doing good work. Um, this is hard work. This editing and all this stuff is no <laughs> joke. It is not. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you. I'll see you in a second. All right. Good people. I thank you guys. Uh, those of you who have made it to this point in the video, thank you. I'm assuming if you've made it this far, you've definitely liked this video. Just know that I will definitely be back with a pre recorded video that will. Uh, basically break this down and make it more succinct. And also my panelists will definitely be back because of this virtual world we live in. We'll still be able to connect even after all of us are no longer here in the ATL. So um, also to those of you who sent super chats, again, I'm trying to get used to using StreamYard and all of that again. And so I can't find it. It disappeared. But I want to thank you. I did see them. I just by the time I was ready to say something, couldn't find you. But thank you so much. I appreciate the extra layer of support. Um, thank you to all my subscribers, my VIPs, uh, VIP text community who were in the chat. I really appreciate each of you. And if I missed making you a moderator, hit me up in our uh, text community and I will make that right. So with that, until next time, until I upload the next video, which will be very soon, make sure to take care and be blessed. Peace.